Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this stream clip, three of three for this week, uh, I had the challenge, uh, someone said in the live chat room during the stream, um, how do you control the Webflow slider component with other elements on the page? Now, this is something you can't do with Webflow interactions, but you can do it with simple jQuery. And so you'll see me create buttons, uh, custom buttons for uh, going to the previous and to the next slide, or even going to certain slides, like clicking on a button to go directly to slide three and so forth. So uh, let's get to it. I have slide one, slide two. And so um, these arrows do the thing. How can I make it where I have a button somewhere else in the world? Like here, let's put it inside the container. Two buttons, let's say previous, next. Okay, and let's give this a class name of next and this a class name of previous. I'm thinking it's custom code. I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's, let's see, will this work? So I'm thinking we use a simple jQuery called um, trigger. I'm going to go here to the custom code and say script, close script. And then, oh, wait, 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 save this. I need to name these arrows. So I'm going to call this left, call this right because when I click on this, I want to send a signal to the browser to say, hey, make a, a click on this thing called left. And if you click on next, click on this thing called right. All right, so that's what I'm doing in my head and I'm hoping that it works. Um, so if I click on prev, uh, prev, whatever, on click, do something that's what function means do something so on click do something and this is find left and make a, a trigger and the trigger is going to be click All right copy and paste and this one will be next and this will be right Things never work on the first try. If they do, if they do, I'm going to be so, I'm going to be so surprised. All right. I'm going to click it. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be tougher. I really thought it wouldn't work, but it did. So what did we do? Um, hold on, knees, knees. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Um, what did we do? So... I made an element called preview or preview previous and another element called next. And I named them in the selector. I named this left and this right in the custom code. I use jQuery to say for the element with a class name of prev or previous on click do something. What that something is, is find an element with a class name of left and send a trigger signal of click. And I just did the same thing with next and right. Okay. And if you see this period, this period means class. If I change it to like just previous like this, now it's looking for HTML element called previous, but there is none. Okay. So if you do period, that's class. If you do pound 
or hash, then it's looking for an ID, okay? But we're looking for a class name or a selector name, and so that's period. Save it, publish it, test it on your published page, and there you go. Where can I get this code? Um, you know what? I'll let you guys cl uh, clone this when I'm done with the stream. I'll put the uh, link to the clonable uh, in the YouTube description. Stefan! Stefan's here, everyone. Say hi. Uh, Hillary Rose, can you tie each button to a specific slide? Oh, these challenges. These challenges. Um, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Ooh, I show you. I show you. Check this out. Um, this is going to take some code. It has been answered on the Webflow forms, but I want to try to demo it for you right now. So let's add another slide. Slide three. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we want to do a trigger click on slide on one of the slide nav dots. For so as you can see here, these control which slide you're going to. So if we can figure out, let's see, if we can figure out how to do that. If we can figure out an, a, a trigger click for these, all we're doing is saying, if you click on slide one, if you click on slide one, I want you to click on this dot. If you click on slide two, I want you to click on this dot. That's all it's doing, all right? Um, so let, okay. hmm. how do I do this? How do I do this? Uh, remove class, I'm gonna call this uh, slide one. Remove class, call this slide two. Remove class, call it slide three. Um, and again, before I go on, where is it? Nope, nope, that, nope, it, yeah, that way. Okay, cool. See that link? Streamlabs.com slash pixel geek. Go to it, donate to Feeding America COVID-19 fund. Please do that. Please give at a time like this. This is kind of like a telethon or something. Yeah, it's a fundraiser. Wait. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, cool. Uh, da, da. Okay, so how do we do this? Slide one. Uh, da, da. So it's just going to act like these. But I have to find the dots. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to call this slide nav, and I'm going to publish for now because I want to see the code that Webflow produces. Refresh. I'm going to right-click on one of the dots. Inspect. When I inspect, I see all of this wonderful stuff that may be confusing, but the more you do this, the more you'll understand. So... We have slider dots, okay? So there's a way in jQuery to count dynamically how many slider dots. So I want to, let's see here. Because you can't give a class name to each of these. So I'm gonna take slider dot, I'm gonna take that class slider dot and put it into my code. Uh, I'm just gonna put this here for now just as a reference and I'm gonna copy this and let's try slide dash one so whenever you put a space inside of your selector name webflow replaces that space with a dash and if you ever have a uh, capital letters in your selector name webflow makes them lowercase so FYI that's what webflow does behind the scenes when you click on that publish button well one of the things so when I click on the slide one button, do something. So I want to click on slider dot. Now, if you do this, 
the the browser will, will be like, I don't know which slider dot you're talking about, so I'm just going to click on all of them. So you have to make it more apparent which dot it's clicking on. So um, it's jQuery, or no, no, CSS EG or something. Uh, index. Index of element, index of class. One of these things. Um, inth of type, revenant as in classes. Uh, one of these things, one of these things. I'm going to try. Oh, okay. So it's just as simple as. As. It, oh, yay, Alex. Thanks for subscribing. So I'm guessing is this. Okay, let me just try for yourself. So this is the second paragraph. Okay, cool. So the first, if we go like that, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna take this nth child. Not sure if it's gonna work, but we can do this right here. See, nth child one. Let's check this out. So we're Finding a class name of slider dot w slider dot, but we're trying to find the first one. And then if we do find it, click it. Save, publish. Ayo Deji, hopefully I said your name right. Nice to see you too. All right, refresh. I'm going to go to slide two or slide. Yeah. Slide two. Again, if this works, whoa, but I don't expect it to work. So here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm two for two. Let's go. Oh man. Okay. So now that we know it works, we can just do the same thing. Copy, paste, paste. This is slide two. This is slide three. This is child two. This is child three. Save, publish. Refresh. Slide one, slide two, slide three, slide one. Two. All right, that's it for these three stream clips. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you have an idea or some sort of request for a custom tutorial, please go to my buymeacoffee.com slash pixel geek page uh, and you can donate and ask your question there. Now, you don't have to donate to request, but if you do, I'll put that request at the top of my list and get that request done within a week. All right. So again, that's buymeacoffee.com and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always make the web beautiful together. See ya.